Hey everybody, Omar here, the Knife Shark Guy, and I am back with another fun filled video for you. Uh, today I just wanted to do another update on all of my knives, uh, only because I have a new knife that's coming uh, to my collection. Hopefully I'll be getting that one next week. Uh, I do want to say that I am missing two knives in this collection. They are currently being repaired uh, by J.D. Van Deventer. Uh, so I can't wait to get those back. I'm hoping I'll get them back in about five weeks, hopefully a little less. Uh, you know, you're a knife, knife person. You really don't want to be without your, your knives for very long. So, uh, I just wanted to go over all the knives that I currently have. I'm going to do this probably in two parts. These are all my large knives. And then the, the next video I'll be doing my medium knives and my small knives. Uh, so... Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I'm going to tell you, if I can remember the model of the knife, I will tell you. Otherwise, I'll just tell you the name of the maker and the materials that are on the knife. So let's go ahead and start. Uh, this one is called the uh, M38 uh, Flipper. This is by Andre Van Heerden. Uh, it is all G10 uh, titanium liners. Uh, this is a big sucker. The blade on this is roughly like 3.8 inches. It's a huge, huge knife. Actually, I think it's 4 inches. A 4-inch blade. It is huge. Um, yeah, M38 uh, Flipper by Andre Van Heerden. This is kind of an important piece because Andre doesn't make very many uh, knives by himself anymore. He's more of a collaborative uh, collaborator on knives. He's worked with Andre Thorburn. He's worked with Tashi Barucha. I mean, the list goes on and on. But no matter what, the work that he puts out is absolutely excellent. Just absolutely excellent. Uh, this one is by Kosi Steenkamp. Oh, I forgot. The blade steel on this one is M390. Sorry about that. M390 for the uh, blade steel. This one is by Kosi Steenkamp. Uh, I don't remember the name of this one. Sorry. Uh, the materials on the knife are, are uh, uh, white micarta and uh, thunderstorm Kevlar is the name of this material here. Thunderstorm Kevlar. If you look closely, there's like copper wires running through the uh, through the uh, the knife on that. The steel on this one is N690, which is a really good steel. Again, we have the white micarta theme running through it. We have gold titanium liners. Really very beautiful. Pick this one up at the Blade Gallery. And uh, this one actually is for sale. So if anybody's interested... Uh, you know, I'll be putting this one up on eBay, uh, probably also on Instagram sometime in the near future. So I'll be selling this one um, in favor of a better, uh, uh, another Cozy Steam Camp knife I'll be getting in place of this one. Uh, this one is by John Arnold. John Arnold, uh, the name of this one, oh gosh, sorry, can't remember again. Uh, but this one is by John Arnold. The blade steel on this is uh, M390. We have G10 scales with Amboynia wood burl uh, in, inside the knife. Those are inlays on the knife, on both sides of the knife. We've got a nice titanium pocket clip. Really just a beautiful knife. Really great action. Runs on ball bearings. Uh, I forgot to mention the, these two knives that I just told you. They both run on, on ball bearings. So really, really great. Great action on all of these. Uh, this is a front flipper knife. And the knife has something interesting. Uh, John Arnold is is very pop is very famous for his uh, Moon Glow Bat. Uh, backspacer. If you shut the lights off, which I'm not going to do, uh, this this will actually glow in the dark. So that's kind of cool. This one is, again, by Cozy Steam Camp. You can see the similarity in the design there. Uh, really, very, really, very nice. The materials on this one, this is red carbon fiber for the bolster. And uh, we have white Westinghouse micarta. The blade steel on this knife is M390, and it is a front flipper. Really nice, smooth action on this one. 
And we also have a red carbon fiber back spacer. And if you open up the knife, I mean, if you look inside there, you can see the little uh, copper sparks in there. Really, really nice. Just a fantastic piece overall. So here we have a knife by Willem Steenkamp, which is Cozy Steenkamp's younger brother. Uh, we have brown micarta for the scales. An M390 blade, again, uh, we have brown micarta uh, backspacer on that. Really very nice. Beautiful gold titanium pocket clip. Just a really great folder overall. Again, really nice action on this one. And also here on... Here we have uh, one by Erugus Lumeris. This is my uh, full dress piece and the only one that I have in my knife collection. A full dress piece is where every part of the knife is covered with some kind of art. So over here we have uh, the, Dima uh, the Damascus blade uh, there on as steel. Really very pretty. We've got blue Damascus bolsters followed by... Um, Black shredded marble carbon fiber, which just looks absolutely fantastic. And on the back, we've got a Damascus backspacer. And again, the file work on that is all done by hand. It's got the rope file work on there. Really very, very nice. Erucus Blumeris. And coming up next, we have another one by John Arnold, another front flipper. This one is in Damascus. Uh, and we have black marble carbon fiber scales on both sides of the knife. Blue titanium pocket clip. The knife runs on ball bearings. Forgot to mention, the uh, this knife here actually runs on ceramic ball bearings. So the action is actually a lot smoother than if it were on just regular ball bearings. So... The next one coming up, uh, this one is by Trevor Berger. This one's called the Dakar Flipper, one of the few ones that I remember. Uh, we have Lightning Strike Marble, we have Lightning Strike Carbon Fiber on there with a blue bolster, blue grayish bolster on it. Really very nice. Uh, matching silver uh, titanium pocket clip. G10 Backspacer. With an M390 blade. Really very smooth. Uh, he's very well known for uh, being able to make knives almost fall shut. Uh, it's just... And this one's not even on ceramic bearings. It's on regular steel ball bearings. Trevor Berger. This one is by... Uh, I'm trying to remember... Andre Van Heerden and Tashi Barucha. Uh, this one has a zirconium pocket clip, uh, followed by, uh, I can't remember the material on this. It just escapes me. We have gold liners. Sorry about that. And we also have carbon fiber running through it. This one is called the Righteous M44 Flipper. That I do remember. Unfortunately, I can't remember the material on this one. Um, but yeah, the makers of this knife is a collaborative effort by Andre Van Heerden and Tashi Barucha. So, really very nice. Maybe it'll come to me later, the material that's on that one. Moving on, one of my favorite knife makers, uh, and I've got I've got like four of his knives in my collection. I really just love this guy. The legendary Des Horn. Uh, this one is a true one of a kind handmade piece by Des Horn. This is my uh, custom made Mvubu, and the only one of its kind that runs on ceramic ball bearings. All of the other Mvubus that uh, Deshorn has actually made actually run on washers only. 
This is the only one that runs on ball bearings, ceramic ball bearings, and it is drop shut ridiculous. The blade steel on this is uh, Nitrobe 77. Uh, we have titanium liners with the uh, beautiful uh, file work that uh, Deshorn does by hand himself. This is called the Twist Theme. And uh, this knife is actually called my coronavirus knife. The orange indicating hope and the blue for the virus. And then we have the black carbon fiber uh, running through the knife. And these are actually inlays. It's not, you think it's all one piece, but it's not. It's actually three separate pieces. So we have the blue inlay, the orange inlay, and then the uh, marble carbon fiber. How he gets it all to be just one flat piece, I have no idea. Don't know. Deshorn and Boo Boo. Another one by Deshorn. Uh, this is the Slim Boo Boo. Uh, this one uh, was my very first Deshorn knife. Uh, this one is on G, uh, G10. G10 scales. And again, the familiar file work. With the twist theme going on there. Again, the steel is Nitrobe 77. Uh, this one is by Andre Thorburn and my very first True Custom. This is actually the only, this is actually one of the, the, the very early knives that I ever bought uh, where I actually asked the knife maker to make me something. We actually, I guess, I thought up with the ideas and so did he uh, and came up with this. And this is probably my most talked about knife in my entire collection. Uh, Andre Thorburn really is a true artist when it comes to the aesthetics. His wife does the bolsters on all the knives. They work as a team. You can see he's got a G10 backspacer and again the file work done by hand. With the uh, uh, White Westinghouse micarta. And the White Westinghouse micarta in this case looks like a bird landed on my, uh, on my knife. Because this actually looks like the beak of a bird. Think about that. So that's pretty cool. And finally, we come to my last knife. Uh, this is my Deshorn in Boo Boo. This one is very similar to this one, except this one only runs on washers. But from the way it closes, you really can't tell. You think it's on ball bearings, but it is not. The man is a master of what he does. You ever get your hands on a custom, get one of these. This is just a, a spectacular knife. This one's actually been carried more than any other knife here on the table right now. So there's part one of all my large knives, my large South African knives. Uh, I will see you guys in just a bit, and I'll be, uh, I'll be doing my small and medium-sized knives coming up here in a bit. Talk to you guys later.